ring score. And now on rings, here's Steve McCain. One of the areas that I've seen some dramatic improvement from Steve is the strength parts that we've been talking about. He looks a little bit stronger, actually has a very nice routine, shows some variety. Just a little bit high on these inverted crosses, but actually a lot better than I've seen Steve look. You know, Tim, he took that time off after the Olympic Games, was really disappointed with himself and says that he quit gymnastics mentally, but he credits his new coach, Doug Macy, with his new outlook on, on gymnastics, says that he's really helped him tremendously. Great dismount sequence here. That's as good as Steve McCain can do. <laughs> the only deductions in the exercise were really the levelness of those strength parts. Noreen Petku of Romania now with his vault. Planning to do a vault with a start value of 9.8, so the Romanians need this score. As I said, very strong vaulting team. Good vault. Just that big step back on the landing, but this is going to do a lot for the Romanian effort here. Let's go back in and uh, check the score. Chen's score on parallel bars, 8.55. Now on the bars for China, Libo. Remember, we've been talking about this new code of points all day long. Parallel bars, in my opinion, one of the most difficult events with the new rules to bring in that big score. One thing Lebo does so well are the double back flips, and he has one that he takes sky high. Well, that one right there, very nicely done. You know, show us a variety of elements in this routine. Very nicely done. What's so impressive is he keeps his knees together, toes pointed. That's remarkable. Three times he does that major element, one from a giant and two from a normal swing. Dismount. Big step on the landing, though. But once again, last, last four years, that would have been a huge scoring routine. That only starts from a 9.5. As I said, parallel bars. Really, really difficult event to bring in that major score. And you see the computers uh, pumping out McCain's ring score, 9.20. Coming up, Gary Denk of the U.S. on Still Rings. We return to Cincinnati, the Romanian team in second place. And, Tim, a lot of similarities between the U.S. and Romanian men's teams. Well, that's right. They've kind of toiled in the shadows of their more successful women's programs, both the Romanians and the U.S. men. And both uh, in search of some respect. Here's Gary Dink of the U.S. on rings. When the rules change, sometimes you go from being really good on an event to it not being so strong for you anymore, and that was definitely the case with Gary. Very strong in the cross position that he showed right on the top of his routine, but it has very little value in this set of rules. Right there, though, we've got a problem. He swings up to that handstand and doesn't hold it. That'll cost him some points on this exercise, no doubt about it. There are a few different strength parts that have a lot of value, and Gary just doesn't have them in the exercise. Dismount, not bad, but a big hop on the landing. You know, Gary was very disappointed not making the Olympic team last summer. He was 14th, said he didn't realize his, his dream, but he has the potential and the talent and the will to make it to 2,000, he feels. Here's the problem right here, though. He swings up to a handstand. Now, you've got to hold this part. Not even close right there. Falls out of it. Not only does he get the deduction for the fall, but he loses the bonus, and, and there's the score. Very low score for Gary Dink on still rings. The Romanian team strong in the vault and trying to recapture first place, Christian Larich. Yeah, the Romanians are really capitalizing on this event. They're very good, as we well know, but they're also going after the start values. They're doing the big vaults. This one's out of a 9.8. And he's the best vaulter on the team. 
Beautiful walk. -up. That was great. Only deduction, the landing. We saw a great vault from the Chinese, the same vault, but this one definitely better. Chinese hold on first place, uh, threatened here by the big vaulting performance of the Romanians. And now on parallel bars, here's Wang Xin. So once again, we'll see somewhat of a punishing exercise. All of these skills that land on their upper arms. This is a nice skill coming up right here. A little bit. Oh, he does oh. that so well, but. You know, there's another perfect example, Tim. An easy move for him, I'm sure, but he lands with his legs down on the bar and takes a deduction. Silly mistake. Beautiful double back toe. Oh, he does that so well. One more time. You notice that he has no pads on his upper arms. There's no deduction for wearing them, but sometimes you just feel a little tougher if you go without them. <laughs> Handwritten numbers on the back for the Chinese, improvising as they go. Yeah, Tom, the Chinese actually left their official numbers back at the hotel, and we even saw the coaches pinning numbers on before the meet started. Now John Roethlisberger, the metal hurdle of the pommel horse behind him on the still rings. So once again, still rings is all about strength and all about exact positions. Major strength elements come right here. These are inverted crosses. Not, not bad, just a little bit high. Definitely held those positions for two seconds, which is critical. John, for many years, did a double twisting, double somersault. He'll only do a full twist here, so you gotta stick the landing. Which he does. Two time Olympian, John Roethlisberger. Now on the vault runway from Romania, Florentine Pescaru. No doubt about it, the Romanian team, one of the most powerful vaulting teams in the world today. He'll also do a 9-8 start value, which is not that easy to come by, folks. Another big vault, but that huge step on the landing, and that's going to cost him a bit. Unfortunately, you can do the great vault technically in the air. It can be beautiful as we're seeing right here, but it's so disappointing when you see such a large step on the landing. He's not going to get anywhere near the 9-8 that he would hope for. Instead, Pescaro gets a 9-5. Christian Larich with his earlier vault, 9.650. The Romanians continue to put up big numbers in the vault, and the Chinese trying to hold on. Here's Zhao Xin on parallel bars. This is a jam-packed exercise here. Highest start value of the competition. Beautiful skill right there. Oh, struggling again. But he is nowhere near done. Here comes another major release. As I said, very well-conditioned athletes. They're in great shape. Man. Just the dismount remaining. Double pike somersault. Probably the easiest part of his routine, and he takes quite a big step once again. That was a gigantic exercise. So much difficulty. And as the third rotation comes to a conclusion, let's check the score. John Roethlisberger on rings, only an 8.9. So now, midway through the competition, the Romanians have regained the lead from the Chinese, and the U.S. even further behind.